All right, welcome back everybody. So uh, on the last video, I was done doing what I could do to the rear end. And on this video, we're gonna get this bad boy out to Kelly. I think he's gonna be able to work on it tomorrow. Uh, today is August the 4th and tomorrow's Friday. So I think he might have time to do the front braces and the bottom brace uh, on, on this deal here. So maybe I'll pick it up tomorrow and then I can get the axle process started. Like I showed you in the last video, I do have two axles from Kelly that may or may not work, I don't know. I've gotta check these things out and see if, uh, see if they will. Um, but nonetheless, let's get this bird up in the air, get this rand out of it, and get it out to Kelly's. All right, y'all, it is uh, Friday the 5th. I'm going to pick up some more cheap Chinese wheels for rollers from track to track. So I bought the Jegs ones. Actually bought them from Summit because they're made by Vision Wheel. And those are five and a half inch backspace. So I'm going to pick up these. These are VMS. They're four and a half inch backspace. So that'll take care of an inch on each side for my screw up. And uh, probably still have to run a spacer on the street when we order the wheels for the track, uh, I think I'm gonna do the sanders. I, I like the way they look and kind of in my budget. Um, 
I'll order those with like a probably four inch backspace or whatever. Uh, we'll get this thing all mocked up and then I'll figure out the the spacing. The brake hat is like 310 thousandths. So I think this may work out better as far as getting the wheel in and out of there because the mounting location will be um, kind of tucked into the car more. So it should make it easier to get the wheel in and out. So I'm gonna meet this guy and then I'm gonna go over to uh, my friend John's. He's the guy that works at Calvert. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up some more spring purchase from him. Sorry about the sun. That way I can get the uh, that big bar that I have, that tube. I can put the Falcon back together with that and make sure I'm not gonna have any clearance issues with those inner fender um, wheelhouses. Um, I'm kind of concerned about that too so the reason i haven't welded any of that stuff up is because i want to make sure i'm gonna get all this back in here and i'm gonna make sure that all that stuff's gonna clear before i um, weld it up so i'll catch back up with you in a minute All right, you guys, so what's going on here is Tim bought a 2008 RAV4 and the engine was bad. So we went and purchased a new engine from a Japanese importer and this gentleman is dropping it off. And over the next about week or so, I take that thing apart and change the engine over. Good morning everybody, it's the uh, 17th of August. I don't have that much of an update because I've been helping my friend Tim out, the guy with the Vega. He bought a RAV4 that needed an engine swap, so uh, we did that, had some t problem with the timing chain. He got a new engine and that's what I've been working on this last about week or so. So. Uh, I got it all back in. I'm just finishing up putting the rest of the stuff together. But the whole assembly's got to come out. K member's got to come out, and then everything drops out the bottom. Uh, my shop is parts from the old one, engine, parts from the new. 
So that's what I've been doing. I'm trying wanted to get that done before my surgery because I ain't gonna be able to do much after that surgery, I don't think. But uh, I did get the run back from Kelly and I may try to take it to the powder coater today and I'll run you over there real quick and show you um, what it looks like. Feed the chickens here. <laughs> Won't focus on them. Gave them some, some bread and some tomatoes. We got the falcon outside getting some sun, but it'll be hopefully in back in the shop today. So I got my stuff welded on that you guys seen. Kelly shortened these up. They're quite short now. And then made a new bottom brace that I, you know, I had to cut the other one off. So, um, it's ready to go to powder coat. And I will probably do that if I got time today. y'all it is thursday the 18th <clears throat> and i'm done with tim's thing i gotta put the bottom shield on i got finally got it burped i didn't video any of that uh, these things apparently are a pain in the butt to burp um and i've got to add some transmission fluid i wanted to get warm but i'm gonna put this belly pan on with whatever clips i do have and then may have to go run it up to AutoZone or something and get some more um so we'll get that done, get the trans fluid in it, and then take it for a test drive. 
and uh, yeah, this project will be done. Did throw some codes for misfire in number two, number six, and rich on bank two. And so when we started this thing, it smoked like crazy. And I think it's because they fill the engine with some type of seafoam stuff. So I'm thinking that's probably what it is. Probably need to go drive it, get the exhaust hot, and burn all the crap out of there. So we will do that. I'm going to set you up on the tripod here and get the rest of this belly pan stuff put in. Everything went good on the drive. 
that thing's out of here. Um, try to help Tim out. He helps me out. I help him out. Um, so that's done. I'm gonna clean up the shop, and that'll do it for this video. I know it isn't the content that you guys wanted, but I might start sharing some of the stuff, other stuff that I do that's not just the Falcon or the Mustang. And uh, may have some stuff coming up with the Mustang. Talk to Tony. Might be doing some drag and drive stuff next year. And if that's the case, then uh, fuel injection, turbo, different cam, different intake for the black car. And let's see if we can go be a little more competitive. May have to have Kelly put a full full cage in the front of that thing so that we can run a number that we want. I think that car can go nines the way it is with a, a turbo. So I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.